This week I'll show you how to turn an old soda can into a beautiful pinwheel. Like this one. Alright, that's enough of that. Let's get started. You're gonna need a clean, empty soda can, a couple of small pins, these are what you'd use to pin up clothing when sewing, some small round beads, they need to have a hole going through the middle, and a small piece of scrap wood for the body. We're gonna start by cutting off the top of the can. I just used a regular pair of scissors for this, but you can just use a knife or whatever else you can find that'll work. Be careful not to poke yourself. Then cut a straight line down to the bottom. Next you need to cut off the bottom of the can. This will leave you with a rectangular sheet of aluminum. Now we're going to cut off that first jagged edge. This should leave a nice straight rectangular piece. We're going to cut two square pieces of aluminum out of this, both about the same size. We'll use the first piece as a pattern. Now we're going to cut each of the squares in half into triangle shapes. Then we're going to want to round the corners. This way we don't accidentally stab ourselves. It also looks a little bit nicer. The next step is to poke two holes through each piece of aluminum. We'll start in one corner. Make sure the pin goes all the way through. Then move along the short edge and put another hole in this corner. Do the same for all four pieces of aluminum. Make sure the holes are in identical places. Next we're going to poke a hole in the top of our stick. This is where the pinwheel will go when we're done. We'll put the pinwheel here when it's time to mount it. Now lay out your aluminum pieces like this. Start by putting one piece of aluminum on the pin, then the second, third, and fourth. This part gets a little tricky because it's sort of spring-loaded. Start with the bottom piece of aluminum, curl it up, and put the pin through the hole again. You're going to have to be careful to hold it all in place while you do the next one. Then do number three, and finally number four. Then put one of your smooth plastic beads over the pin. This will act as a bearing. And then press the pinwheel into the mounting hole we made earlier. Be careful not to bend the pin. You can see that it looks a little bit lopsided. So this angle should be about 90 degrees, but it's not. So what we're gonna do is cut a little slit right here. So we cut that slit. Then we can slide one blade into the other blade. And now it lines up just right. So go ahead and do that on all the other blades wherever necessary. And now it looks great. And it spins pretty well too. I brought it outside and even a slight breeze got it spinning really well. How about two pinwheels in one? On a sunny day I like to take mine for a nice afternoon drive. Hooray for recycling! I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, please like or subscribe to let me know.